social media. What is social media? Social media are websites and applications which allow users to create and share content or participate socially. It ruined my last relationship. When social media and social lives start to mix, it can create jealousy. Imagine starting a dating relationship and you find out the guy that uh, you're uh, involved with has 300 female friends. I mean, it creates a whole new brand of stress. You have all this competition. I'm obsessed. Because social media provides immediate rewards with very little effort required, your brain begins to rewire itself, making you desire these stimulations. And you begin to crave more of this neurological excitement after each interaction. It's time consuming. Makes me quite antisocial. Dominique, Dominique. I'd rather listen to music or be on Twitter than talk to somebody. We live in a world with 7.2 billion people, and over 3 billion are actively using the internet. Does it seem like everyone is always on their phones and annoyingly using their social media accounts? There's 3.65 billion mobile users, with internet access to be exact, with nearly 2.1 billion of those people that have social media accounts. What's your favorite social media account? What are you on all day? We have Facebook with nearly 1.4 billion Facebook users, and 47% of all internet users are on Facebook. Are you on your Facebook for likes? People are generating 4.5 billion likes daily. Do you tweet? Twitter has 284 million active users with 500 million tweets per day. Instagram with 300 million users are sending 70 million photos and videos daily. Females are taking over Pinterest, composing of 80% of all users. How does Pinterest help you with your decisions on products you choose to invest in? Well, 88% are purchasing a product they pinned. How are you finding an employer these days or employees? LinkedIn Facts has been around since 2002, almost the grandfather of social networks, with 347 million registered members. There are over 39 million students and recent college grads also on LinkedIn. 5 to 10 percent of social media users can't control how much time they spend online. We like, double tap, tweet, snap, and poke, upload and pin, and amongst all, follow. Our generation is learning how to post, update, and regram before entering middle school. Sometimes being on my phone can be a bit distracting. I feel social media is very time consuming and it takes attention away from my child. In the past, children used their imagination and storybooks to keep their minds going. Nowadays, children are consumed with by laptops, iPads, cellular devices. For example, over 5 million Facebook users are under the age of 10. Not only are children exposed to technology at home, but at school as well. Younger students are introduced to online games along with online quizzes and accelerated reading tests. Most students from middle to high school say that they use the internet to help them with work they are assigned at home. 29% of high school students say it's a daily event. This is because students' personal access to the internet has reached an all-time high. 80% of students in grades 9 to 12, 65% of students in grades 6 to 8, and 45% of students in grades 3 to 5 are smartphone users. 81% of young people cyberbully. Nearly 43% of kids have been bullied online. One in four has had it happen more than once. 70% of students report seeing frequent bullying online. In addition to the physical and verbal bullying that may take place at school, cyberbullying in the form of harassing text messages and derogatory posts on children's Facebook, according to osteopathic.org, kids that are bullied are likely to experience anxiety, depression, loneliness, unhappiness, and poor sleep. Being a totally different person online from what our profile picture depicts keeps us detached from what is real. What is hindered is our interpersonal communication. According to socialnewsdaily.com, 83 million Facebook accounts are fake. Catfish accounts have, on average, 726 friends, while real users only have 130. Social media is an addiction many of us share and choose to ignore. 
Social media checks us out of reality and serves as a distraction. Go out and step into the world and begin to leave distractions behind. Stop Snapchatting the moment and truly live in it. Make the change in yourself. Let's regain our humanity for tomorrow may be too late. Give people your love, not your like. Don't allow an opportunity or moment to pass you by because you were too busy looking down at a screen. Disconnect from social media and start connecting with the world.